Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are brand new, welcome. I'm super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-loved market, and workwear. Today's video is in collaboration with Tabby Violet. If you don't already follow Tabby, you should, and I will link her details down below, as well as her version of this video, which I will also link in a card. And I will also link her Instagram down below because you should follow her on both. She is super fashionable. She's a fashionable mama with a great family. So she shows them in some vlogs and she also covers on her channel just a ton of different fashion content. So she does styling videos, hauls, reviews on luxury goods, all that sort of jazz. So you should definitely check her out. So we decided to cover different bags in this video from six different luxury fashion houses, which are better to buy vintage rather than new. We're having a vintage resurgence right now. So many different prints and designs and styles are sort of coming back into stock. But some of these items, we feel like they are better to buy vintage rather than buying those new styles that are coming out. We're covering six different fashion houses that we have in our collections and that we have seen this sort of trend with, though there are certainly more out there. I'm going to be covering Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Mulberry, and Tabby is going to be covering Fendi, Gucci, and Dior. You might be saying, well Jessica, you just showed a vintage lady Dior on your channel, and you would be right. I will link that video down below, but uh, Tabby's going to be covering more of the newer prints of Dior that are kind of coming back, whereas the Lady Dior has sort of been constant throughout, though I think she might be mentioning that in her video as well. But I will link mine in case you're curious about the first edition vintage bags and how those are different from the second edition, which is really the same style that they're still selling today. So that will be linked down below. But I am going to be covering SLGs as well as bags because I've got some of those too. I've only got one bag for Mulberry, so I am going to cover that first but then I'm gonna get into Louis Vuitton and Chanel. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is Mulberry. Mulberry has been around since 1971 with their Somerset factory opening in 1973. And there really is only one bag to talk about and that is the Mulberry Bayswater. I absolutely adore my Bayswater. I use it all the time. This is what is now considered the heritage Bayswater because it is that original first design. So they started making the base water in 2002. All of the other bags that they made there that are kind of it bags for a little while are no longer in production, but this one is a classic that stays. There are a few other bags that are kind of considered classics, but again, either they haven't been around long enough to be considered vintage or they are not currently for sale. They kind of discontinued them probably within the last five or 10 years when they went with some new directions in terms of new designers. Mulberry doesn't actually have date code, so I don't know when this is from, but the design really hasn't changed since 2002, except for the newer designs of new Bayswaters. So there is one called the new Bayswater, the Bayswater double zip, the zipped Bayswater, which I have on my wish list. But what they consider now is the heritage Bayswater. It was always the classic original Bayswater that's been around for a long time. So, so not only is this bag definitely the most classic bag that you can buy from Mulberry, but I think it's better to buy it vintage because you can find really great deals on the pre-loved market. They're all over the place and because they've been around for so long, there's a good amount of them. You do have to be careful though because they are replicated and faked very often so you definitely want to make sure that you get it authenticated but there are people who absolutely love the history of mulberry and there are some facebook groups where people will help you authenticate and there's plenty of services where you can get something authenticated so i would definitely think about that and think about going in terms of cost it is worth it to buy vintage the quality of the leather is so great that it really holds up through the test of time and so it doesn't really matter in terms of quality or degradation of leather whether you buy vintage or new so it's definitely cheaper to go the vintage route. The next brand that I'm going to be talking about is Chanel and I'm going to go in order of the oldest to the newest all being vintage. So this bag I am borrowing from Grace and from Grace and her handbag and I will link her channel down below but this is a Chanel from the late 80s, 87 to 89 so 1987 to 89 late 80s is when this bag is from. And as you can see, it has this big exaggerated hardware. So it's a classic flap in terms of it is black, lambskin quilted, and it has the flap, but the flap has a special design and the hardware. If you want something that's a little bit different than the totally classic flap, then this is a great place to go. Plus, anything that has these little indications on them, it could be in any of the corners, shows that this was actually gold plated. And so the quality of it is actually higher than the current Chanel bags. So the big exaggerated hardware keeps coming in and out of fashion and they keep 
making new bags that have this sort of exaggerated hardware. So if you want that at a much, much, much cheaper price point, you can find it vintage and you often get sometimes even better quality, though it's certainly going to be older. So this has lost like its puffiness and things like that. But she had this restored at Leather Surgeons and they did a great job. And that's a really great option to go if you want this high quality lambskin, the gold plated hardware, and you want to maybe pay a cheaper price for it. The next bag I want to talk about from Chanel is also a vintage mini. This one is actually mine, but this one is from the late 80s to the early 90s. So two years later, 89 to 91. It's from somewhere in there. And I absolutely adore this bag. I think it's great. This sort of mini design I think is really nice too. I am probably eventually going to upgrade to a newer mini because I do like the sort of dip where the CC falls in that dip as opposed to the straight line across, but it is a really good size and I got a great price for it and it is high quality. This one is also gold plated. It's got the little thing on the bottom of the CCs right there indicating that and it's in really good shape for its age. It has been totally relined inside, but other than that, it's in good shape. I don't think this one ever really was puffy, but because it doesn't look like it's lost its puffiness. There are a few indentations, but that's more of a structure loss rather than rather than issue, but this was a great design. It kind of continues to be one that people are looking for on the pre-loved market in order to find the vintage option of it. And it's got a really nice long strap. So that is something that makes it a little bit different than the current minis. And it's about the same size as the current rectangular mini, if not a little bit smaller. So it's great to buy vintage because of the quality and because of the price, same as the other vintage bag. The last piece that I want to talk about in terms of vintage Chanel is this pouch. So I bought this pouch a few years ago. It's this lambskin pouch and it does have some color discoloration on it, color transfer, but it's a great little lambskin pouch. It's got some CCs on the lining inside and this one is from the late 90s, so 97 to 99. And it's just this really cute design. I use it in my bag just to hold some different products. And I just think it's really great. I'm showing this in terms of just general Chanel SLGs. You can find really high quality. And this has no wear, except for the color transfer, which is my fault, right? But the lambskin is still in perfect shape. And so you can buy SLGs in the vintage market and find them for cheaper when they still were really great quality. Not that they're not good quality. I think SLGs are still pretty good quality, but you can guarantee that they were good quality and you can usually find them for cheaper. So I'm going to do Louis Vuitton a little bit different. I'm actually going to start from the smallest bag and work my way up to the largest bag. And one of them is maybe pushing vintage. So some people say vintage is 50 years. I usually think of it as 15 years and I've got one from 2005. So it's a little bit cheating because it's only 13 years, but I think it kind of gives you an idea. So I'll work my way from the smallest to the largest in terms of Louis Vuitton. So the first two I'm going to show you are about the same size and they are both SLGs for Louis Vuitton and they're both from 2001. So this is the pochette accessoire and then the cosmetic dome case. I think that these are both great options to buy vintage because they keep making them, though they are discontinuing the pochette accessoire, so you're going to have to buy it pre-loved anyway. And I think that you may as well go vintage because if you can find one where the canvas is in good shape, there's no reason not to. I got a strap to go with mine and I wear it as a bag, but I also use it as an SLG. I actually love it. I think the new model is nice because it has the pocket inside, but I think that the old model is just as good and I think it's in great shape. Yes, the hardware has started to tarnish a tiny bit and started to chip, but the canvas is still in great shape and Louis Vuitton canvas in general is fairly indestructible. So if you can find one where the canvas isn't cracked, it's gonna last a very, very long time. So this one is an awesome option and I got it for a great price and I got the strap for a great price and so it works as a very cheap bag from Louis Vuitton. I mean, cheap relative, right? <laughs> relative to luxury goods, but I just think it is a wonderful option. Same thing, the cosmetic cases are still really popular, so finding one that is vintage and still in good shape is really smart to do if you want to save a little bit of money. I think that what you need to look for is making sure that it's not peeling too much on the inside, but other than that, because it's this wipeable material, so it does it does age faster than the canvas and then the backside of the canvas, which is doesn't really age but this can. So just make sure that you find one that isn't peeling and if it is, make sure that you're willing to put in the work to get that fixed or to take all of the peeling and stickiness off. But I found one in really good shape and I absolutely love it and it's a great 
vintage item and because this one is in Damir Ben I don't have to worry about the Keta. Not that I really have to worry about this too much because I actually prefer a patina. I like this sort of honey color on my Louis Vuitton Vaquetta. The next one is also an SLG. This one is actually much older. This is from 1993 and it is a toiletry 28. I know that toiletry pouches are still really popular. This one's big. I honestly don't use this one a ton. I have this idea that we're going to use it a lot, but I don't really, and it actually is a little bit smelly. So do make sure that you find one that is in good shape and be sort of willing to take care of it if it's not. But I was able to find this for a very good price and I do like the idea of it and I like the vintage. The canvas feels like it's in very good shape and it's like feels almost thicker. I don't know if that's actually true, but so it is an awesome piece to buy and really because this one doesn't have anything on it, I could get this replaced if I really wanted to and it's got some chipping, but because it doesn't have any leather or anything on it, it's just straight canvas. You can't really tell that it's not the newer one. I'm not actually sure that they still make the 28. I know they make the 26, but I'm in terms of any of the toiletry pouches, right? If you find a good one that's vintage, it looks the same and it definitely stands the test of time in terms of wear. So here is the piece that is sort of cheating in terms of vintage age. It's from 2005. It's a Speedy. This one I'm also borrowing from Grace in her handbag. I don't own a Speedy in my collection, but I thought that was important to show because the Speedy design hasn't changed. It's still the same. I think this is a 25, but it might be a 30. Sorry, I, you'll have to check her channel and see uh, her discussions on this video, but it's in awesome shape. And I, again, I prefer a honeyed patina. So I really like this unless you want a brand new Vaquetta without any patina, you know, that's this color. I think that the Speedy is a great option to buy pre-loved because there are so many of them. It's a classic piece. that's never going to go out of style. You can find them for a cheaper price and it's really the exact same. And if you are someone like me who prefers a darker patina, then you don't have to worry about waiting to get it to be the color that you want it to be. So this is the Speedy from 2005. I wanted to quickly mention that I'm really only talking about Louis Vuitton canvas pieces and I think canvas is the backbone and the heart of Louis Vuitton. That's the history of it in terms of the trunks, but it's not only canvas that sort of holds up over time and is a great option to buy vintage. I have had Epi leather vintage pieces in the past. Currently my Alma BB and my Brea GM are both Epi, but those are newer. So I'm not talking about them in this video, but I have had a couple vintage pieces. So I had a Louis Vuitton Quasette, a Lusic Tote, a Jean Fi and Trocadero bags. And those were all great epi vintage pieces. It was the style of the bags and the sort of shape of them that made me kind of sell those and take them out of my collection. But the epi was still in good shape. Sometimes it does get sticky inside from that Vuittonette lining. But my husband and I would take an X-Acto knife and peel it off and then it would have canvas on the back and still be in a great shape. So doesn't have to be canvas in order to be worth it to buy vintage. Just make sure it's a style that is continued and that you like. And also I'm sort of realizing that none of the pieces that I'm talking about here are ones that they are bringing back. I know that Tabby's kind going to be covering that aspect a little bit more. Mine are sort of pieces that have stood the test of time or are kind of classics that they continue to make year after year, not something that they made and stopped making and have brought back. So just a little, Thing I just thought of that I wanted to mention. These are classics that have kind of stayed at the test of time. So when I said I was saving the biggest for last, I was not kidding. <laughs> it is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 and I absolutely love this. It's also, it's the bandolier and it's from 1984. It's still in awesome shape. The leather has some discoloration on the handles, but that's basically it. I tried to get one without cracking in the leather and certainly cracking in the canvas. You can replace leather at Louis Vuitton, but you cannot replace cracking on, you cannot replace the canvas if it's been cracked. So I found one that I really love the size of. I really like, again, this patina color on it and they continue to make the key ball. So this is another one that it's a classic design. It's not gonna go out of style and you can save a lot of money if you buy it vintage rather than buy it new. I also particularly prefer the bandolier, which sometimes is harder to find new. So I absolutely love this one and think that this is a great option for buying vintage. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel to see more. If you have any questions, let me know down below and make sure to check out Tabby's video to see 
the vintage Gucci and Dior options. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!